Good morning. Welcome to All the Things. We're going to be talking about not one, but two amazing supplements that you can take first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. recommended supplements <laughs> and as a added benefit they are one of the few supplements you can actually take on an empty stomach so I'm here in my nightgown I'm gonna drink some coffee with you and we're gonna go over why these are the two supplements to add to your regimen to your diet to your routine yes and let's get to it so the first one that we're going to talk about is Super Lysine Plus. The ingredient that we're really discussing is L-Lysine. The brand is Quantum Health and Red Marine Algae by Vibrant Health. I'll be linking both of these in the description box below. Let's start with its size and swallow ability. It makes a big difference because if something is hard to take, I won't take it. For L-Lysine, this is the size. Here's a dime so you can see and its coating is nice and smooth so it does not get stuck in your throat it's really easy to swallow and it also has vitamin c echinacea licorice odorless garlic um and propylene yeah. because it counteracts l-arginine which is occurring in things like chocolate dried fruits it's actually in a lot of things and when l-arginine in the body is too high you can be susceptible to herpes outbreaks and L-lysine is really good at like balancing the levels of L-arginine in the body. Therefore, it helps treat herpes of the genital and cold sore varieties. And it's really beneficial for the skin in a lot of ways. It's going to help encourage collagen production and it reduces anxiety. L-lysine also helps reduce complications around the disease of diabetes and it does that by helping regulate blood sugar. So one thing I want to say is that it's been viewed in the past as something autoimmune people don't need because, <laughs> come on baby, because if you've got an overactive immune system, it could worsen it. However, I've been taking this for a decade and I've never had any symptoms of my chronic illnesses and autoimmune diseases worsen from taking this. I think of this as an adaptogen in that it adapts to what is needed. So I have low blood, I have low blood pressure. That doesn't mean that it's going to lower my blood pressure more severely. It actually helps regulate my blood pressure. So for some of these um, like benefits, understand that it's going to know exactly what it needs to do within your body, which is why I look at it as an adaptogen. It's going to adapt to what's needed. So it does help regulate um, your blood sugar levels. If you've got high blood sugar and you're craving sweets all the time, this is a supplement that's going to effortlessly help you cut out as much sugar in the diet because sugar is as addictive as like heroin and cocaine. So when you're craving sugar, that is a very real craving. When you feel like you're addicted to sugar and you can't quite control how much you consume, that is a real thing. It is an addiction like any other because of its chemical reactions within the body. So cutting out sugar from the diet, of course, is always a great idea and a great priority, but it's not always that easy because it is programmed to make you struggle with it. It is programmed to be addictive. So 
L-lysine can help the sugar cravings and lower um, blood sugar levels. In addition to that, it can help improve cardiovascular functions. And this is a really helpful if you, even if you don't struggle with like high blood pressure and stuff, but you've been exposed to COVID or you've had COVID in the past couple of years, this is um, going to be a really good supplement to possibly heal some of the effects from COVID long haulers. So it improves the cardiovascular functions by inhibiting the buildup of LCL, which is your bad cholesterol levels, and they build up in the arteries. So this is going to actually keep that from happening, which helps reduce high blood pressure. It can also help manage hypertension. So I mean, this stuff is a miracle because like I said, I have low blood pressure already, but it does not further lower my blood pressure. It's only going to lower your blood pressure if you've got high blood pressure. It can increase bone density by improving the absorption of calcium, which helps reduce the likeliness of osteoporosis. So to all my ladies out there, we're already at high risk for osteoporosis. This is going to help you age safer so that you don't have to worry as much about that. So as we know, a lot of the supplements that are on the market aren't in necessarily hyperabsorbable forms. It can be hard for the body to utilize some of the medicines that we take or some of the nutrients even. If you suffer from malabsorption, which comes along with a lot of autoimmune diseases, then this will help you like actually absorb the calcium that you're ingesting from dairy, from your diet, and then from any multivitamins that you might be taking. So moving on, L-lysine, this one's like kind of a biggie, and some people who don't like herbal medicine are probably gonna be like, Bang! but whatever, I'm gonna say it anyway. Let's talk about cancer. So it can help repair damaged cells. And as you know, a lot of like skin cancer is like damaged cells kind of taking over with the uh, free radicals that we're exposed to and all of the toxins. This can be really helpful in at least boosting your confidence that you're doing everything you can to be anti-cancer. It can actually also help the effects of chemotherapy. So it can help make chemotherapy more effective, but it can also reduce the awful side effects that can come from chemotherapy. So this is a good thing to take even if you're experiencing treatment of cancer right now. You can add this into your diet and it will just only benefit. Studies suggest um, when used on animals, L-lysine helps kill cancerous growths. So once again, we're talking about skin cancer, we're talking about breast cancer. We really want to do everything that we can to keep that phenomenon from happening within our bodies. And if this could even suggest from studies that it can alleviate these cancer growths, then we're all for putting that in there. So a whole other side of the benefits of L-lysine are your, is your gut function. Because it is such a potent anti-inflammatory, it's also going to be beneficial for your gut health by reducing inflammation in the intestinal and stomach linings. So if you experience things like IBS, um, leaky gut, even acid reflux and Crohn's disease, you can experience a reduction of symptoms simply by adding in this supplement to your diet. So that is just a brief overview. This stuff is amazing for so many other things. Real quick, it can help with your skin health and making your skin um, heal easier. It can also alleviate symptoms that come from chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia and lupus. And it's also been not studied, but reported that it can help with smoking cessation. So once again, kind of like dealing with the addictions that are just chemically against us from the start, whether it's sugar, smoking, this can even help reduce cravings of alcohol. So you're thinking about the three huge things that are hard to kick. Think and consider a lysine I mean, wanting to make a change and just for like a healthier lifestyle. Once again, it can be kind of scary out there. We know we're exposed to so many toxins and so many chemicals. And there is a certain point where you can't really worry about it as much because you know they're, they're everywhere. You can't keep them from being ever present in our lives. You can try to reduce the amount of chemicals you're exposed to, like this candle here. Absolutely loving the scent right now, but it's filled with like 
thousands of cubicles because it's fake scent. It's not an all-natural candle. So these two supplements can help the body deal with a lot of the toxins that we're constantly exposed to. We're going to move on now to the Vibrant Health, right? Yeah, Vibrant Health. This one says Gargantina. I think is how you say it. This is the Red Marine Algae Supplement. The reason I'm very specific with this brand is because it actually lists the amount of polysaccharides in this supplement. And the polysaccharides are like the active ingredient. That's what's going to make this work so well. So you kind of want to know like what, how many are in your supplement that you're taking. There's gummy versions of this. There's so many supplements and especially regarding like skincare, there's a lot of skincare topical treatments that have this in it. But really at the end of the day, we know we can put something on our skin, but putting something in the body is always going to be more effective. And 30% extract is what it says on the label. So it's just really good brand right there because you know exactly what you're taking. All right, red marine algae, tiny peel, done. These used to be smaller. I don't know why they made them bigger. You still have to take the same number, which is four. So one dose is actually four of these. I take them two at a time. I used to could swallow like four pills at once, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I don't know. I just don't. So there's your size comparison. And this is a gel cap. So once again, really easy to swallow, nice and smooth. It's not going to get stuck. The only thing is with both of these supplements, you really want to make sure you're drinking a lot of water because if you don't, are you effing kidding me? The pearl fell out of my ring. So that's something I'm going to be looking for today. Okay. So you want to take a lot of water with these because if you don't, you might burp the flavor and it's not very good. This one's definitely gonna have a slightly seaweed flavor if you burp and the L-lysine, you're gonna taste garlic. And since it's like first thing in the morning, that's not really very appetizing. So make sure that you're drinking a lot of water. When we think about red marine algae, I want you to start with hair, skin, and nails. Specifically, creating a stronger hair follicle and strand of each of your hairs so that they don't break as easy, which allows you to grow stronger and longer hair. And that's something that I definitely have been dealing with. Um, I'll go into that in a whole other entire video. My dog is causing so many background noises. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She is up and active this morning, which is awesome. But the sound of her drinking is quite loud. So I'm just going to let her finish. Maybe she'll get comfortable soon. All right. So red marine algae is very high content of vitamins and minerals, and antioxidants, and these nutrients are easily utilized by the body. Once again, it doesn't help us to take supplements that our body can't even really use. You're just wasting your money at that point. So this actually is very easily absorbed into the body. And as far as like the healthy skin, it can help with herpes, psoriasis, eczema, acne, and especially with the quicker recovery of these. So you'll notice your skin heals faster, which is a really big deal when you're dealing with any of those, but especially acne, even eczema can cause scarring. So this is really gonna be good for the skin health. Once again, you're gonna be focusing on the polysaccharide content within this. And because of that, it also helps with shingles, HIV, and we're going to go more into autoimmune diseases that are basically based on chronic viruses. And you'll also see things like the flu and mono. So if you're experiencing even a random flu, if you're experiencing COVID, if you're experiencing mono, you can add this in temporarily. If you're not down to add it in every day, at least use this to help you recover from the damage that is done during times of flu and especially talking about viruses, COVID. This is a really good after and during if you're experiencing symptoms of COVID. Um, it really does shorten the healing time and it reduces the likelihood of you getting COVID long haulers. So when we think about the immune system and the virus thing, we also can consider this to be an amazing treatment for 
bacteria responses and fungus, as well as random toxins. This also regulates blood sugar levels and reduces blood bad cholesterol. So obviously, if you were to take both of these, you would see a heightened benefit of reducing your blood sugar and your bad cholesterol. Pause for some liquid break. Okay, so we're wrapping up now. I want to mention that due to the high levels of calcium that and magnesium that are in red marine algae, it's going to be really good for bone health. Cleansing in, doing everything you can to age amazingly includes adding both of these into the diet for better calcium absorption, but also this alone, as far as red marine algae, has a lot of calcium in it. Okay. So that's about it. I'm going to stop there because I could talk about these all day and I don't want to like bog you down with all kinds of details. I can always go back and do an in-depth video on a little bit more about these supplements. If you want, let me know in the comments below. If you found any of this helpful or you're struggling with anything in particular, let me know in the comments because I can always do other videos according to what you're going through to let you know some of the best herbal and all natural supplements to take. It's kind of my thing. I want you to be healthy and happy. And in order to do that, sometimes adding in these all natural, more holistic medicines pair beautifully with Western medicine. Or if you're like me, I have a chemical allergy. So my diseases can't really be treated by standard Western medicine. And I had to really be creative in looking at herbal medicine. This was many years ago. And I was so inspired by my findings and my studies that I became certified. And of course, went to pass that information on to you. I will see you again soon. Otherwise, have a great day.